the video of the Nintendo game like that. Um, the Nintendo Switch, which I got recently. Well, I had it for a couple of days. I've just been thinking about doing the video or not. And, well, here we are, doing the video. And, yeah, and we've got other stuff as well, as well. So that's why this video is light. It is light. Other than that, it's because I, I was going to get this as well and review it in a separate one. And then review this and then play it. But since I just been putting up and unboxing this thing, so let's get started. And uh, we will take a look at these later on once we get this puppy out. So here's the Nintendo Switch. I went for the grey model. Um just because it is the back. Here is the side. Here is the other side with all lots of gibberish and what comes in with the switch. Top says Nintendo. Bottom or your Nico Guff. And then also the barcode with my switch, which I'm gonna show. Maybe show a little bit but oh well. But here we go, so we open this flap and then here it tells you how to set it up. Then here we go. So we take this for it. Like I said, I've already taken it out, so here's the main console itself and the Joy Cons. Show you that way about that one. Um, and the straps for the little buttons there, and then they also also if you tap it in the cloud as you can hear, it will close. Is that going? No, there's not like a function that. Wait. Now, see these little clips right here, when you press them, yeah, they won't go in. Let me show you that, there's that one to the top. So, when, so once that says click, then that's free now, so it's able to free move about. But it's got metal, side, blasting in your little ropes. You get two of them, you get two controllers. The Joy-Con grip. I actually quite like this. Some people say that this is not as good as I hoped. Um, but yeah. Very interesting. But very comfortable as well. Um, get the dock. And you can kind of see it. Maybe not. No, what I look like from here. But it says Nintendo Switch on it with a little engrave. Um, it says Nintendo on the back. HDMI. Inside, you get your AC adapter, USB 2 or 3. And HDMI out. And then it's nice and packed in here with this little hole right here, which is nice for wires. If you're not wire friendly. Um, that's what we got. Got the HDMI, which it kind of gives you. This one says Nintendo on it, right here. So in the back, and that's just use HDMI and HDMI on the other one from the side. Now we've got the USB C. This is my first time getting one of these kind of chargers. Um. So yeah. That's everything for in the big box. And we'll keep that aside. And then onto the main pot. So to get the joy cons first. And then we'll need to go the switch. Now put this back in. Yeah, 
this little box to keep. Right, so it's right beside me. So, here is the main switch itself. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just going to take a look at the Joy-Cons first. So these are your Joy-Cons. Also, if you go closely, so it's got a minus, and it's got a plus. Same with your straps. You might not even see it, but it has a minus there, and then at the other side, a plus. Plus. The light's showing. So yeah, get those both at those sides. So what you can do is make sure there's yeah, some tab. You can do this. There we go. And you can put your strap around you and use it as a controller. Like so. And it lights up very nicely. You can put that in. So it won't move just when you take it out. And then you can take it out. Which is nice and easy now. When I first got these, they were very tight to get out. And now, since I've had them for a while. Easy to get out, or maybe in other words, the plastic um, clip that clips onto the switch and the straps could be weighing off. So that's why I went on Amazon and bought metal ones. So you might see another video of me taking these Joy Cons apart. So we do one by one, of course, but doing them both at the same time and putting the metal latches on and then. That way, I won't be um, my plastic ones won't tear off. And yeah, so yeah, so that's the Joy Cons. Um, both the same, really. One's got the basic controller for the Xbox. So you get your Y, X, A, and B, and then you get a little thumbstick, and then you get your home button and your, your plus controller port. Your ZR, which is your trigger, and then your, uh, that's a uh, right bump, right upper bumper. Same with the other side, but this time that, instead of having a normal D-pad, I'll show you an example, my P6, my Xbox One controller, you've got your D-pad. But for this, you don't. It's just buttons, which is a lot easier. So I mean, like, mean this, and then you, you get the deal. So you must be all be waiting and thinking, put, put the controls together. Oh, okay, so here's the left one going in. There we go. And there we go. And then there you go. That's the switch. You know, always make sure the back. That's good. There's any switch on it, switch logo, and then your league guff. Then, bottom, get your charging port right here. And then, barcode, which I'm going to show you. Just don't want anyone going. And then, here and here, you should kick stand. Stand it up. And then, here is where you fit a micro SD card, which I have a temporary one in. It's my phone. Micro SD card, it's has got anything in it, anyway, so it's been used any. So, but it has used so much on the switch, so yeah, it's got four gigs, but I've got one coming away with I think 512 megabytes. So, yeah, that's coming away as well as a screen protector, so you can keep this saved. Um, or no. It's very nice. Very nice to handle. Uh, the stand select buttons are very good. Um, up here is your power button, your volume button, headphone jack, which, which can take uh, normal headphones, um, and your game slot. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, Quite liking the Nintendo Switch. 
after like a couple of weeks having it, I really like it. I really do. Um, of course, I'll show you the other ways you can put your joy con so you, as well as you can kick stand up like this. If you can try and keep it standing up. Okay, it's not standing up, but say that's standing up. To play my games like this. Like that. Or simple, take this, put them in, like so. There you go. And then you got your Joy Cons in the controller. Um I'll show you the size difference between a this and the Xbox One. So there you go, there's your comparison. A lot squarer than the Xbox One. Similar pattern with the thumbsticks. One to the top, one to the bottom. And then your buttons. Then your triggers are very different. Obviously this has got more depth than this one's just like a click. Like that. Obviously, this is why, but you can kind of take it off and put in other charging ports. So, yeah, very good console. Um, of course, I haven't showed you with it with it inside the dock yet. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'll plug it on after the this video. Plug it all back in. So here we go. Be very careful because, like, some people are having problems with a switch getting scratched. That's why I'm getting a uh, screen protector. It's because of these bumps right here. My fingers going up and down. Yeah. That's plastic. And then the screen is also plastic. So that can get scratched really easy when you go just jam right in. But you just put it in very gently. And then just plug it in very gently as well. And then you can also... in. This is what I'm doing during... When I'm sleeping, when I have the switch on, or the switch in the dock, I put these controllers in, and let them charge, let them all charge for the morning. Which is very handy. So yeah. And then, just take them out. There you go. So yeah, so that's the switch. Oh, yeah. And, like I said, power adapters, like the that um so yeah next up is the case that I got for it this only costs 20 quid and um, I got it from game but I think you guys in America if I've got any American audience out there and um, it's GameStop or if you're going to Superstore it'll be like Walmart Target us here will be Asda Tesco's Argos, Smith Toys. Fortunately, America doesn't have the Toys R Us anymore because they're, they're uh, closed down. Um, in here, you get a uh, USB, U USB to U USB C type cable on the go, which is very handy because I can take any plug with me and just plug this on in and then bam. You get nice covers for your Joy Cons, which I always use. Um, and just Slip, slip it on here. Make sure the buttons are in the right place. Make sure it's on the right size. Also, tell you which one to put on plus and minus being cut out. And there you go. And it gives a nice little groove right here, which is nice. Got a good firm grip on it. So let me put the other one. The other one right quickly. There we go. Get your controllers. And then, you just, I'm just gonna put this. Where is it? No, this is upside down. That's why. Here we go. So yeah, so you get USB C. That's got in my bag. Take it with me to college with me. 
in here as well. And sorry if I'm sniffing, I've got a cold right now. And you get a nice little little cloth to wipe to wipe it with. So yeah, you get all of that for only twenty quid. Case, the covers, this the cable, all for twenty quid. It's not bad. Um, very nice strap to secure it. Um, nice thing to cover the screen with as well. You know, so you can fit one, two, three, four, five. Six games, six cartridge games, and then you can fit your cables, your i.e. your cloth things, and you, and then you switch yourself. And it's another like a pull strap type of way. And you can show you a demonstration. Like so. There we go. So like that. And then you just close it up. Like so. And then the Velcro. It's nice. Nice handy, very handy, very good. And, you know, take it out of the case, you just pull, viciously pull it. Don't viciously pull it, like yank it out. But just gently, or if you're not getting strength, just yank it out then. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's the switch customized already. So, what about a game, or what about switching on? Like, right, let's just switch on. And then switching on comes up with the Nintendo logo and then it'll come up with the Switch logo and there we go and then it tells you your news all the new stuff as well so apparently the say is 69% off on all Ubisoft games such as Rayman Legends uh, Sports Party Just Dance 2019 I think uh, Super Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, um, South Park, and North Play, and then Season 8 of Fortnite's been out, it's already out, and Ape out on the Nintendo Switch as well. So, yeah. And then all you have to do, I, all I have to do, I'll now just turn the right out so you can hear it. Just click it, and there's all my games. So, I got Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. YouTube, Fortnite, the Nintendo. Uh, entertainment system, the classic games, which I've already got. So I've already got the Nintendo Switch Online Pass. Uh, Sonic Forces, which I have at the game, it's just the DLC, Warframe, and a couple of demos. So I've got Pokemon Tournament demo, got Pokemon Quest, which is the actual game, Uno demo, Tetra 99, actual game, uh, Yoshi's Craft the World, which is the first demo. And took Captain Toad's treasure tracker. So yeah. So yeah. So that's all the games. I'm not going to show any games because I might get copyrighted. I'm only allowed to show the screen. But yeah, but I can show you the game cartridges because I won't get copyright from that. But yeah, so that's the Switch as well. That's the end of the Switch. So the game I got was New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And the only new thing was the new power up which is Peachette from Toadette and it also has the, both games they got the main game right to you and Super Luigi U which is even tougher to so disclaimer for Super Luigi U if you're an expert of playing Mario if you played Mario twice all the games throughout some when it first came out in the NES system to now if you're an ex expert of playing it twice then have a go at this if not just play the first game this is just this, it's just the same level as from the new um, this this game is basically for people who haven't played new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe well you from the Wii U obviously which is me but I'm also planning to get the Wii U for Christmas this year so yeah, so there's gonna be that. So I'll be able to play New Super Mario Bros. U again. But I already know, but put this on the Switch and go as well. So here's the inside of the box. Get your world map. Got your characters. And there's your game. And no, I'm not gonna taste test it. As you might see in the comments saying, "Oh, you didn't taste test it." I'm not. Or I done it, and it tastes bad. 
to, to know. So yeah, so I'm just going to keep that in because I keep the games in boxes. Unless that, that I've, I've also found two, two good bargains for the Switch games. I found two for, I think, 17 and 19 pounds. So it's only it's only just this that the take the box. So I'll be just getting that. But I've got this, so I'm actually okay. But there's one game I'm gonna get with the box, which is like, no, there's only one game I'm gonna get that's with the box, and then one game with the box. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, and it's only 21 minutes. So it's not oh, but no big deal so um, if you're wondering how I'm going to be able to record this I won't be able to record it because like I said I will get copyrighted by Nintendo um, I don't know about live streaming and um, there's no other way of me to live streaming on the Nintendo Switch so you don't have to do it on the Xbox one but I don't know about the Switch um, if I do know if I'm live streaming and if you do ask me how am I how, is, how are you going to um, live stream or record but yeah live stream your switch games and i'll tell you that so yeah so if you like this video uh please like and comment and subscribe for more videos like this if you want me to do more unboxings like this this is my first one Um, if you want me to do more reviews if you want me to do some movie reviews i'm thinking of doing movie review movie reviews and also comment as well um, if you want me to do the movie reviews and vlogging for me to start doing vlogs of my day to day life which is pretty much boring because all I do is go to college and then go home and that's it if there's a good movie on I'll just I'll go and see that but yeah that's pretty much it um, so yeah, so if you want to see an update video on the Switch of what games I have from, I think from the 11th of March until my birthday, until 1st of April. Well, the 12th, because I'm going away. So the same as that day, so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video again. Please rate, no, please like, comment and subscribe for more. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.